it's a pretty good map for Zerg because you can take those two early bases and they're pretty well defended. I mean, and they have the exact same layout that they did before. <laughs> really? Wow. Yeah. You got, you got Terran and Protoss up and down on the left side, and then Bogoth is in the front of the cliffs, and then we should like introduce the, the players probably. Oh yeah, for anyone watching the stream. This is round two of five, best of five match between Noel Steve playing as Terran, teammate Noel Master as Protoss, against uh, Alex. You go ahead and introduce the other team. Why not? <laughs> All right, against the yellow Zerg in the top right corner, Bogoth, and his ally, Zephron, Green Zerg. Woo. I just kind of want to take a second to note uh, No Master's uh, pylon placement. Um, normally I would kind of frown upon that pylon placement, but since it's a 2v2, um, as long as um, your teammate goes and builds, it's supply building at the cl at the ramp. That will help you get better vision. But if it's for a 1v1, I that would help very... too. If they had done a really... If they were to put, if No Master had put his pylon up at the front where um, No Steve could put another depot, mm -hmm. um, it would already be walled off by now, and they That's still true. have access in and out. So, it's true. I feel like that would probably be the best spot. Yeah. So we have No Steve coming in with an SCV scout, which I only bring out because um, the Zerg team has gone a very fast expo here, and so I'm interested to see if they catch this, and it looks like they're going to. It looks like the very same opening. Oh, he might be able to no. Oh, he's, I would he's have a Oh, he barely oh, saw yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, he saw the hatch. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see if he... Yeah, he's going to notice that. Sees the spawning pool. Uh, he sees the spawning pool going down. Bogoth didn't take the time to build it in the back of the base like you normally would. And neither did... Uh, Xerophon. Yeah. Alright, so he basically oh. saw everything. It's interesting. He didn't even have a gas. What is he doing? And oh. uh, the fourth base, or second expansion, coming down for Zerg team. Is Plus a few. Uh, uh, to go back to the pylon, if it's up at the ramp, but you can get um, zealots at the Stargate. I mean, not at the Stargate, the gateway. A lot quicker to the ramp, because it'll just be right there. Right. But instead, they have to waste all this energy and run over there. So, so far, it looks like the very same opening. Oh. Looks like Zephron's got a Roach Warren, so it's a little bit different. They're going to shake things up a little bit. Oh, um, oh and uh, Bogoth goes for the same Roach, so it looks like they're just going to do probably a two-base Roach push, and that's going to be extremely hard to deal with. They need, to, uh, they need to build another uh, extractor, both of them, so that they can have more gas coming in. The they need to get those that... tanks out as fast as they can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the one thing Noel team has going for them right now is that the Zerg team has not scattered them at all. Um, yeah, they went ahead and expanded. Pretty decent time for an expansion for both Terran and Protoss. Another ship core going down. Looks like they... Looking at supply, uh, Zerg team's ahead by a little bit. Yeah. Um, income is looking a little bit in favor of the Zerg team as well. So, normally at this time, the Terran has an open Reaper in Hellion, so um, he, he's not there pushing up at the front and being able to scout and see what they have. So this would probably be the best time to throw down a scan in their main, and that would help them see those roaches, and they know what's coming. But Oh, both... Uh, looks like they're missing yeah. that. Both Xyrophon and Bogoth have four roaches oh, going it. down. One of our spectators is lagging. Dangers. Oh, Shoot. Brave. Are you brave? Dangers. Well, I'm kind of glad you crashed so we don't lag anymore, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> That's really bad when spectators lag. Yeah, he's got a... Uh, yeah, uh, what's his name? Bokoff, he oh. has roaches coming down. He had four and... Oh, wow. Look at all them roaches. Looks like his bunker will be up and ready by the time they get here, though, this time. But I hope so. Beanford no, has followed suit and left the game. <laughs> he's got he's got five um, marines. If he had Neo Steel Frame, he could 
fit all of them in that bunker. That would really. How long does that take, though? Um, Neil Steel Frame. Um, I'm not entirely sure on that. I'd have to look at that. It would probably be about uh, 120 seconds. Uh, but he goes for the double racks um, again, which doesn't really make much sense to me. Right, well, he's got the tech line. He's so got sentries, though, so this looks like it might be able to hold for now, but with the reinforcements... He just has the force field. So our attack is here. Oh, um, retreat. Only five units lost so far. Not a big deal. Yeah, nice force field placement. Helps protect the bunker a bit. So we can send some SCVs to repair the bunker and all cybernetic units. Yeah, I feel like already oh. Noel is playing much better. Here comes the siege tank. He's got a tank. He needs to siege that up. Oh man! Oh, but the roaches are on top of it. Ooh. Looks like he's going to go down. Oh, but they're going to be able to handle it. Ooh. Taking a lot of damage. But the roaches are D O W N. I feel like this is a really awkward spot for a robotics facility, though. Oh, I got. I I understand, Noel Steve. Close. He's getting he's getting stem. That that's smart. And if you look at uh, units lost, Zerg actually, or er, mm -hmm. Zerg lost more, so yeah, that is that a weird place for a robot. Actually, an okay facility. counter for a team. North. How do you pull up the units lost tab? It's uh, uh, you L. press the L key. Control what? L key. Oh, it's just L, no control. Oh, is it? And it's, oh, there we go. The one thing that sucks about uh, casting two v two is you can't pull up all the fancy menus like the banner at the top, which shows who's playing. Oh. Yeah, see that's what I was asking about. But I got a little confused. Yeah. The thing that I feel like would help a lot to help... Oh, okay, they're, they, he's got it down. Um, Bogoth is doing some research in the Roach War, and uh, Xyrophon is not. Um, they're increasing the movement speed. They're not doing tunneling clones. Um, it looks to me like... Uh, um, Bogoth is going to sit here with his Roaches and go Roach Hydra while... Yeah. Um, Zephron's can actually get um, switched to Ling Baneling Muta. All that Null Masters getting an observer. Do they have That'd spore crawlers? Good. Yeah, I'm gonna follow that to see exactly what he gets eyes on. Spore crawlers anywhere. There's no spores. That observer can move as he pleases. Yep, there he goes. Noticing all the overlords. Yeah, so far just a bunch of overlords. <laughs> oh, he, he catches the uh, macro hatch. I'm here in the That's getting a queen. Alright. I can I can follow this. Okay. Oh, mutalisks. So Inca's looking about, about even right now. Does he see those mutalisks? No, he does not. Did you see them fly by earlier? I sure hope he did. It's kind of dangerous to leave his overlords up here in the front. Yeah. But. Oh, here, here go the mutas. Do a little harassment. With he does have a turret in his line. He's got a line. Which is going in, too. They're very well prepared for this muta. This roach muta combo. Patent pending. Uh, marine, the, the lone marine scouting yeah, up in this area. The lone marine. And another marine now, going top okay, left. Now, gonna do a he's, drop. He's got siege. He picked up a siege tank accidentally. <laughs> oh, he's moving he's in just, there. The roach is gonna see that dropship. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Question is, is he looking at his mini map though? Yeah. Dropship is so SC1, it's a meta bag. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, the mutas are gonna intercept that. Oh, oh, oh go oh, right past it. Just walked right past that. Oh, but he's seen it. And he's he's gotta it. get the oh, rocks out of the those wretched rocks. Oh, <laughs> booking it. Back no. To base. That poor meta bag. Yeah, they ignited afterburners. Uh, Looks nope. like he's gonna try and stop on his green, but it's Rest in peace. Out. He should have dropped the units before the medevac died. That was a huge yeah. loss for Blue. He's down. That he's was... lost 1,300 resources now. He could have done some pretty good micro on the roach just if he dropped the marauders. 
Wow. Roach Hydra is coming down. Quite a bit of banelings and lings though coming out from Zephron. Just yeah, and looking at active forces, our Zerg team is way ahead in supply. Oh, and I, that was a, oh, look at that micro that that medevac is pulling off. Oh, oh. nothing can stop oh, the Mutalist yeah. though. These tanks Quick, drop the Marines. Oh, oh, they're not staying. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I see a big group of mutalisks, I can't help but think about the story of the mutalisk, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> you know, four widow mines would just be devastating. That's true. He <laughs> needs a, he needs to oh, first of all. Oh, I know that's Zerg. He needs to get a reactor on the factory. Uh, I said Zerg because uh, Zyrophon is supply blocked. Eulis coming in here oh, to harass in this huge Zerg army. Um, this is one of the Zyrephon and Bogoth's strengths, is they, they're very good at coordinating and just move as if they were one giant Zerg army. So Bogoth is maxed out on roaches and hydras. Oh, immortals and tanks are really good! I don't oh, like man. the game, so... Oh, look at that devastation. They're not all. We got a Colossi coming in. It's too bad those zealots don't have charge. They could have done more damage on those uh, roaches. Oh no, no anti-air but stalkers and marines. Those mutalists oh. are gonna devastate. Oh no, there's not enough marines Ooh. to finish off these mutants. Now that's a heavy hit. Here come more Here's roaches from Gorga. Darfon getting more wings. Meanwhile, uh, Zephron took out all of those SUVs. Wow. wow. Oh, okay, the stalkers, left. stalkers don't have blink, so they can't do as well at micro. Oh, that Colossi. I can't believe you didn't pick off that Colossi. Yeah. Oh, okay. that's the next target, though. Goodbye. Okay, there's another one about to come out from the Robo facility in two, one. Yeah. Missile turrets. We gotta build the turrets. <laughs> yeah, photon cannon micro. <laughs> All the robo facilities to build all the ground units that can't attack mutalisks. <sighs> Ooh, oh, I guess that's it out. An I guess that's GD. game. Right. Yeah. So that makes two for our Zerg team. Yeah.